Hello everybody, this is General Yanis, and today in General Yanis Tactics, the Warhammer 40k channel with an ugly touch. We're continuing our look in the Thousand Suns Codex, and today we're looking at the Chaos Spawn, quite popular unit. Uh, so let's uh, take a look. So today is the 12th of, of December, so Christmas uh, around the corner. So in this uh, video, I'm going to look at the Thousand Suns Chaos Spawn, the fast melee option. Uh, we're going to be looking at the stats and the weapons, the damage, output, and durability of the unit, comparing to some other units, looking at some uses and combos, and finally looking at some alternatives. What what models could you use? Um, uh, many, many people uh, don't think the Chaos Spawn looks so chinchy, and uh, I think you can make uh, some Chaos Spawn that look quite Death Guardy or Nurgly. Uh, it, some of them look a bit more corn or something like that, but they don't have the, the same feel as the other army. I, I found this uh, this uh, nice looking um, Chaos Spawn uh, kit bashing here um, on, on Reddit. Uh, I haven't I haven't done it, so kudos to the to the people who have done this. Uh, seems to be like kit bashed, so it's quite interesting to see what people uh, have come up to. Uh, so before I start, uh, a big thanks to all my patrons. Uh, here is my, my patron page if you want to support my efforts further. Uh, and thank you for liking and subscribing the, the, the channel. Uh, so let's get started with the Chaos Bone. So uh, looking at the Chaos Bone, the base stats and the weapons, a Chaos Bone uh, comes in units of one to five, uh, 23 points per model, so very cheap, uh, cheap, and, and the, you, you can have one as a minimum, so 23 points for a minimum, let's say minimum sized unit. They have a seven inch move in the fast attack, of course, they are quite fast. And they have only a 4 plus weapon skill, they don't have any shooting, um, they have strength 5 times 5, 4 wounds per model, so that's not, not bad, for 23 points you're putting a, a 4 wounds on the table. They have 2 d3 attacks, so on average will be equating to 4 attacks, 9 leadership, uh, only a 5 plus save. Um, so uh, the weapon is the Hideous Mutations, uh, which has uh, basically a melee weapon, it's strength of the user, so strength 5. AP minus 2, damage 2 weapon, so a nice profile here, a strength 5, AP minus 2, 2, so it's a good anti-infantry profile, let's say. They have an aura to uh, uh, get uh, the, the enemy leadership uh, uh, goes down, um, and uh, when, you, uh, when you fight in the fight phase, every phase you fight, you, you roll a dice and you can get a variety of these mutations, you get the razor claws, um, uh, this is probably the least helpful for most uh, most enemies. Then AP is treated as minus four instead of minus two. The grasping pseudopods, um, uh, you have three D3 attacks. So here we will get on average six attacks. So so that's very good against hordes. Let's say you get more, more attacks. Of course, you're rolling a die, so it's difficult to, to select, let's say. And then the toxic uh, hemorrhage, uh, it allows you to re-roll the, the wound roll, so this is good against high toughness uh, opponents. Um, oh, the, the Thousand Suns have access to the Fated Mutation um, uh, strat, which basically allows you to choose the result here, so this is very strong, so you can select the best option here, depending on the enemy you are facing, and additionally they get plus one attack uh, per uh, per per model, so uh, you will be doing five attacks uh, on general or seven with this, you get plus one attack. So um, it has the great cold keyword, it's a beast, so it's not an infantry, so therefore it cannot do uh, actions, many of the actions required to have infantry, uh, and it doesn't have any invul save, so but uh, let's say it's the, it's the cheapest objective holder, the smallest unit, 23 points, it's fast, uh, it has strong melee capabilities, it's bad, it has a bad save, only 5 plus, uh, and um, the, unlike, the death card spawn could be upgraded uh, with more toughness and get this custom resilience, the Thousand Sun spawn cannot, but it has access to this very strong uh, stratagem, which I will get back to. Uh, just some uh, <laughs> Greek, Greek background again, pseudopods, meaning false uh, leg or false appendage, uh, that, that is like uh, growing out of it, the mutations, so it can attack, and hemorrhage or hemorrhagia is from emma, blood, and rahizo, a crack where the blood flows out. So just a, <laughs> a linguistic parenthesis again. Let's go to the now to the weapon damage output. So if we assume we have uh, five spawn, the maximum in the unit, and here is the damage not point corrected. So here we see the different profiles that you are basically hitting a D3 to, to select what, what it has. The razor is the blue, uh, is where it gets the AP minus four. 
the grasping, uh, then it gets 3d3 attacks per spawn. That's the orange line. And the toxic hemorrhage is where you reroll the wound rolls. Then you have the gray line. Uh, all in all, we have a quite high damage output. This is not point corrected for the five spawn. Uh, but you can you can be doing let's say eight six ten ten wounds depending on the on the opponent looking at something like intercessors uh, five five spawn could be taking out a unit of of, of intercessors the razor claws are not good against uh, targets with invul saves because then yeah the, the minus ap minus four doesn't really help only a bit better if you if you get use it with targets with two plus save that don't have invul saves and uh, death guard is quite well protected uh, because the damage to weapon of the of the thousand sun spawn or the spawn so damage is is uh, yeah more limited versus versus death guard than normal uh, enemy enemy units of course with the orrery uh, yeah the orrery wouldn't wouldn't uh, help here because uh, the the spawn are not uh, core now, uh, if we throw in the fated mutation, uh, then uh, on top of, of the result, we are having one more attack per, per model. So the damage is, uh, is uh, higher damage overall. Um, so uh, the, the, the grasping, as we saw also before, the grasping pseudopods or the toxic hemorrhage are best versus most targets. If it's high toughness target, let's say you have toughness eight, seven, six, something like that, then choose the Take the toxic hemorrhage. If there is something with many models, uh, one wound models, uh, a lot of them, let's say, take the, the grasping pseudopods to get multiple attacks. If there is plus two plus save and they don't have an invul save uh, or three plus on some occasions, you can you can just pick the razor uh, instead. But the plus one attack and selecting the optimal profile really can can get you uh, better damage on average. So if we summarize the damage output versus the General Yannis 31 targets uh, here uh, per 100 points, we see here this is with no buffing, just the random um, attack from the five spawns. And uh, then we have, uh, if we use the fated, the fated mutation, we, we get the plus one attack and we select the optimal profile. So we are doing uh, here, you can see on the table here, uh, on average, we will be doing six and a half wounds uh, across across these targets uh, with no buffs. Uh, we will be doing 8.7 wounds on average per 100 points if we use the fated mutation. And then if we additionally use the presage, the presage is, is very helpful for the spawn. Instead of hitting on four plus, you're hitting on three plus. That will be 33% more damage. And we are getting a whooping 11.6 wounds per 100 points. So this is this is very strong. Uh, damage uh, melee output, especially in the Thousand Suns army, where not so many of the other units uh, are so strong in in melee. Looking at the the chaos spawn uh, durability, here we are looking at uh, how, what the variety of, of of weapons shooting at the or attacking the the, the spawn. And here we are looking how many shots does it take to kill one spawn. So that we can see with toughness five, they have quite good. Uh, let's say. A defense against strength four weapons, but as as when we are getting up, uh, let's say a bit a bit heavier weapons, uh, then they are they are going down eventually. Then we we get some some shots here, but here compared to uh, to some some other infantry or or foot squads, let's say the marines, the jungle or cold scarab terminators, um, and and here we have uh, death card equivalents. We see here um, I had took the average of 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 these uh, shots here uh, to kill 100 points of the spawn that would be uh, equivalent to almost killing four and a half spawn here so you see that it's actually uh, more more durable than than rubric marines uh, close to changors and, and scarbacle terminators it's not as as good for example as the upgraded uh, death guard spawn that has a toughness six and disgusting resilience uh, or blight lord terminators but it's it has a good let's say a good baseline durability uh, if you give it the four plus invul, uh, then suddenly the durability improves a lot because normally here, uh, as soon as the AP becomes higher, it basically doesn't have a, any save. Here uh, we, it will be getting a four plus invul save, uh, and and they, this makes it uh, much stronger. Also, it can survive with quite a lot of of heavy weapon punishment. So, um, so four wounds, uh, toughness five are quite durable for the 23 points and with a four plus invul save uh, with a spell really can boost the durability of the of the spawn 
So if we can a summary compared to, to other units, uh, so some other units here in the in the thousand sums. So in the South Codex, uh, we have here uh, the rubrics, the changors, the scarbuckle terminators. Here we see uh, the damage output uh, shooting 24 inch, 12 inch, and in melee, this is point corrected per 100 points for General Yanis 31 targets. And here we see in melee, they are the, the spawn is the highest damage dealer, higher than a molar fiend with fist slashers uh, here. And as we can see, we saw we can do it um, quite easily with a strat for one command point. We can quite increase the melee damage output to much more, let's say, than. Um, than the baseline for, for the other units. Also, if we add presage, we can really do uh, a lot of, uh, of, of melee damage. And as I said, the durability is quite good for the points compared, compared to the other troops. And then if you give it four plus involve, it strongly benefits uh, from that versus everything, basically, because otherwise it will be saving on five or worse. Uh, so yeah, big boost possible and and the strongest let's say melee dealer uh, damage dealer in the thousand sounds codex i have analyzed so far so uh, some selected uses and and combos uh, i mean yeah, with the the math is saying that it has very high melee damage dealing so then you could use a, a unit of five spawn it's only 115 points complementing let's say your uh, uh, you would normally have your rubrics, you will have your, your terminators, uh, etc., your HQ. And then when it gets in melee, you use the fated mutation strat, as we saw, the presage, and then you can give it uh, the four pass invul. And if you want also glamour of change, probably you want to protect something else. Um, you can you can use it also as a fast distraction or a surprise or, or a surprise damage dealer, because maybe your opponent is not expecting thousand sounds to, to come for them. Uh, but you could you could be moving let's say seven inches then using a temporal surge uh, you need the cycle to be within six inches of them and then you could be moving let's say 14 inches and then making a charge if you have the second turn your opponent has moved upfield you can come very close get a good charge with the strats here you could take something valuable out or tie it down uh, you could be advancing seven inch plus d6 and then seven more with uh, Temporal search. If you want to go to some objective, it could uh, another potential. I was thinking is using them for strategic reserves, coming from an edge, maybe turn two. You, if you have the cycle close by, you can make them in the psychic phase. They can move seven inches, and then you only need a let's say two inch charge. If something was nine inch from the edge, uh, you could even charge further away. But it could be a surprise move, uh, putting a couple of spawn. Uh, yeah, the spawn uh, in um, in um, in strategic reserves. Uh, uh, you can also just use one. If you take one, let's say you can have it to keep uh, backfield objective or screening or yeah, it's it's quite cheap to to just uh, have a nine inch uh, bubble around it and keep it hidden somewhere to, to keep some objective. Um, the, the spawn is a beast, so cannot do so many actions. So most of the actions require infantry. Uh, you, a, a unit of five could be giving away two victory points for the no prisoner so you don't want to overdo it with many spawn but it could be useful let's say to use maybe one two to keep some objectives uh, being fast or or the, the big unit as a big surprise melee damage dealer uh, remember with cult of duplicity you cannot teleport it is not infantry or monster uh, and also the prolific uh, crystal is not working uh, for for the spawn so uh, then looking at the, at the models, as we said, the, um, the standard models from Games Workshop are sold in the pack of twos and they have they have quite a lot of options to be configurable, but I don't think they look so so Chinchian or Thousand Suns. Uh, so as, as the Reddit user did here, maybe maybe using some other bits from Thousand Suns units could be interesting and make it look like and fit thematically in the in the in the in the army. Um, I, I, in the tournament I, I was, there was a Thousand Suns player and I was really impressed by his birds here, but actually he used these uh, this, uh, birds as, a, as the chaos spawn uh, for change. So that's, that would be an uh, interesting, uh, interesting idea. So I don't know if you have any good suggestions or some other specific models, uh, uh, please let me know in the comments. So reaching to the summary and the final thoughts, uh, the chaos spawn 
fast and very strong melee damage uh, dealer uh, for 23 points per model and you're putting four wounds with a toughness five on on the table so not not super not super bad let's say uh, the damage of the thousand suns can be significantly um, upgraded with a fated mutation strat giving it more attacks and selecting you are able to select the profile uh, to make the best damage let's say so top melee damage output as you could see uh, so far in the in the thousand suns codex per thousand hundred points uh, and then uh, especially presage psychic power plus one to hit in in melee can really uh, improve their the damage together especially with the faded mutation strat the weaver of fates giving them giving the spawn a four plus invol uh, most of the other units uh, in thousand suns have a five plus invol so they, of course they get a benefit from four plus invol but the spawn don't have the five plus invol they can get four plus invol and then they're suddenly much 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 harder to take away with their four wounds and the temporal surge is interesting uh, then you can move seven inch plus seven inch and you get suddenly a fast and scary melee unit that maybe the opponent is not expecting um, from you so i think all in all it, it looks to me like a useful unit that could be viable in in many lists and it could be interesting to take let's say one one big squad of five or otherwise some like a cheap uh, objective holder uh, so let me know in your comments uh, what you think about uh, this analysis and if you are using spawn in your in your armies um, if you like this channel if you like this video please press a like and subscribe to my channel where i will bring you more analysis of units uh, uh, tactics for the thousand suns and death card looking also at the enemies of thousand suns and death card <laughs> and how they how they play out uh, together uh, if you want to further support my efforts, please visit my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com, General Yanis, um, and uh, take a part of the discussion there. I have a library of the results that I've been showing you here where you can compare uh, different units uh, um, as, you, as you have seen here. And uh, with these words, General Yanis is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.